welcome to the Property Elite podcast. I'll be your host, Jen Lehman, Chartered Surveyor and Co-Founder of Property Elite. Stay tuned each week for more on industry hot topics, market updates and new RICS guidance. In this week's podcast, I take a look at the new definitions for different types of RICS guidance, including professional standards and practice information. This is essential listening for all APC and Associate RICS candidates, as well as qualified Associate RICS surveyors and chartered surveyors. So what's new? In short, the RICS have introduced two new definitions for professional guidance, professional standards and practice information. These replace the former definitions categorising the status of various RICS guidance, such as International Standard, Professional Statement, Guidance Note, Code of Practice and Jurisdiction Guide. So why were the changes made? Following the Bishard review, RICS have taken steps to amend their corporate structure. If you head to our website blog, you can see how this is structured with a really helpful diagram. The new structure includes the Standards and Regulation Board, SRB, chaired by Dame Janet Paraskeva. The Standards and Regulation Board have a public interest mandate to ensure that surveyors act and the industry operates ethically and professionally. The role of the board is to exercise the regulatory function of RICS, oversee RICS professional guidance, entry to the profession, qualification standards and dispute resolution services, and they're also responsible for the regulatory tribunal. The top level guidance is the new rules of conduct, which are underwritten by wide ranging professional and ethical guidance. These include sector specific standards providing mandatory and best practice guidance to surveyors. So what are the two new definitions? RICS has introduced two new document types. As we said, these are professional standards and practice information. These are being rolled out on all new RICS guidance being published, or in some cases, existing guidance is being reissued using the new definitions. So, for example, bank lending valuations and mortgage lending value was reissued as a professional standard in October 2022. It was previously a guidance note published in June 2018. So why do surveyors need to be aware of key professional guidance? If a surveyor faces a professional negligence claim or RICS regulatory or disciplinary proceedings, they need to be able to evidence that they acted with reasonable competence. This can be through demonstrating compliance with RICS guidance, such as professional standards and practice information. Not being aware of professional guidance, therefore, can be very risky. Surveyors can keep up to date with new guidance via the RICS website, industry press and the Property Elite blog. This will provide excellent topical CPD, contributing to a surveyor's yearly CPD requirements. So what is a professional standard? Professional standards set requirements or expectations for RICS members and regulated firms about how they provide services or the outcomes of their actions. They are principles-based, focus on outcomes in the interest of clients and the public, and set a baseline expectation for competence and or ethical behaviour in the specific context. Where a professional standard applies to an area of practice, they set mandatory requirements that surveyors must follow, where the word must is used, and best practice that surveyors should follow, where the word should is used. In these instances, there may be alternative approaches or methods that may achieve a better overall outcome. And this is for the individual surveyor to decide upon. And what is practice information? This is supplementary guidance to support surveyors in delivering specific services or working in specific areas of practice. The guidance isn't mandatory and does not provide explicit recommendations. Practice information can include definitions, processes, toolkits, checklists, insights, research, and technical information or advice. Thanks for listening to the Property Elite podcast this week. Head to our website to check out our full blog, free and paid support resources and services, free consultation for every single RICS APC and ASOC RICS candidate, and also ask us any questions you have via the website chat blog. 
See you next week.